Hey guys, Alex Allgood from Brawl Productions, and today I'm gonna teach you how to make this cool intro. Yeah, check it out. Here we go. This is the preview. One, two, three, go. Well, besides the flamboyant intro I had, uh, please ignore that and pretend that never happened. Um, and let's just get right on to uh, to the tutorial. Yeah, sounds good. So here I am in Sony Vegas Pro 9, uh, which you will need the latest version of Sony Vegas because we are using an effect that only comes with the latest version, which uh, at this time it's 9, Vegas Pro 9. Um, this might be in Movie Studio, the latest version of Movie Stu Studio, but I'm not sure because I don't use Movie Studio. But, uh, you know, you'll figure it out, go to your effects, see if you have the glint effect. But don't want to give too many things away, let's go ahead and get started. First thing we're going to do is, of course, make a new video track. So we're going to go to Insert Video Track. Then we'll go to Insert again, Text Media. Oh, out of screen. Right there. So we're going to type in Bra Productions. Original, I know. Um, go to Edit. Uh, you know, do what you want to do. Use the text you want. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to do just about that big in the screen. That should be good. Uh, close out of that. Um, and then we'll go up to the tabs and go to video effects um, and then search around the vast area of effects does that make sense? I don't know and uh, go to glint alright, yeah, glint oh, now I'm louder didn't even realize I was away from the microphone I got off topic uh, trying to do this awesome tutorial anyway, we're going to add in the actually, no yeah, yeah, yeah we're going to do the spiral effect <laughs> So, woo, it looks so pretty. Bra Productions, all glittery, yeah. Just kidding. God, I'm really putting a bad image for myself with this tutorial. Um, all right, so uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to work from the bottom up. We're going to go to streaks. One. One streak. What if I talk like this? Uh, I'm turning this into something crazy. Uh, we're going to turn the saturation all the way up so it's colorful. Because saturation is just a funny word for how much color it has. Something is black and white, that means it is desaturated. Okay, um, enough of that. Uh, I'm, I'm going to keep it on the same colors. It's kind of like a blue and yellow, but you can always change the hue to whatever you want. Uh, I would recommend that just to make it a little bit more original. Uh, you don't have to mess with horizontal radius because we only have one streak. That is vertical, so uh, as much as you try, you're not going to change anything by using this little lever. Uh, but vertical radius is really what we're going to be playing with. Um, then we're going to add boost. Um, I keep my boost on 100. Uh, again, you can do whatever you want. Uh, ooh, threshold. Ooh, yellow flash. I keep it at about mm, 80 or 70. Somewhere between 75%. Um, and then we're going to keyframe. Yay for keyframes. Going to go to the beginning. Keyframes, essentially... Uh, you know, actually, if you don't know what keyframes are, oh, sorry, I was again, I was away from the mic again. If you don't know what keyframes are, just go look it up. Um, you know, I can't uh, get that basic with you. Anyway, uh, <clears throat> it's dragging on. Okay, so we have the first keyframe, and uh, we're gonna put the vertical radius at zero, and then go to about I don't know three seconds. And boost that vertical radius up to, I guess, 100. Yeah, sounds good. So now, maybe a little bit more than three seconds, like four seconds. Put this keyframe back so it's a little bit longer. So now it grows. Bada bing, bada boom. Looks good. Um, slide that over. Um, so now it stays like that. And then to get the, like, the uh, ending effect, we're going to go into video effects again, go down to the R, R for rhinoceros, and go to radial blur, and uh, just go down to reset to none, click that on there, and then uh, <coughs> you'll see it opened up in a second little option for keyframes at the bottom for radial blur, um, which is really nifty, I like how Sony Vegas does this because we can now compare it to the keyframes you use for glint, um, but I'm going to drag this first uh, 
uh, thing, the radial blur keyframe, <laughs> at about 75% of the glint effect right here. You can see what I'm talking about. Um, and make sure it is at zero. Oh, made the keyframe back. Uh, and then about, uh, I don't know, three seconds later, three or four seconds later, just drag the strength of it, not not to one, maybe to point like point eight, like just to get that kind of effect. Uh, and then you can highlight both keyframes, right click, and click smooth. That way it'll make a very uh, Bezier, uh, you know, smooth funny funny <laughs> uh, you know effect it won't be so linear um, so when we play that back zooms out uh, and then whoosh, probably make that a lot faster yeah definitely a lot faster okay so we're gonna so since we do want it faster we're gonna squeeze together the keyframes uh, uh, so we'll go like that maybe the intro will be five seconds long Okay. Brow Productions. Okay. Okay, this is cool. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> this guy knows what he's doing. Wow. This is some cool intro. I'm going to subscribe to him because he had this intro. Wow. See, that's the kind of effect you're going to get. Um, and then to end the entire thing, uh, we'll go to the very end. If you click Control Alt Shift on the keyboard, you can scroll frame by frame with the uh, with a wheel on your mouse. Hopefully, you're using a a mouse with a wheel on it. If not, getting the 21st century people. I mean, <laughs> come on. Uh, uh, let's see. What was it? About five seconds. Yeah. So go right there. Drag it out for an extra second. Go to transitions. Uh, go to flash. Oh wait, we got to make it first. Drag the corner. Make it about you know a second, two seconds long, and throw in the hard flash. Uh, and I would put in some vertical diffusion. Um, just throw it in. Uh, customize it however you want. Play it back. Brawl Productions zooms out and flash. And see the vertical dis uh, diffusion gives us this kind of effect where it adds more streaks as it goes away. And it really just it adds to the effect in my opinion. Zooms away. Start of your video. Boom. You now have an awesome intro. You can always throw in a little fade so it doesn't say the title right away. So it goes like that. So just uh, maybe like a quick uh, half second fade. Oh, I just got an email. Um, little half second fade. And boom. There you go. You are now done. Eight minutes of this tutorial. And you just have a sweet thing. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Uh, I'm really impressed. I did this whole tutorial in one take. Uh, usually I mess up a lot. <sighs> um, but it was probably pretty boring, and I'm sorry for that. But, uh, you know, my name's Alex Allgood, and you just have been punked. Just kidding. Um, but you can check out our website, http.08, just browproductions.net. Yeah, just go to browproductions.net. You can become a member. Um, it's f easy and free, and uh, you get a lot of benefits from it um, there's the downloads page where you can get stock footage uh, templates um, uh, textures yeah it's all awesome and all free you just gotta become a member so again browproductions.net and if you don't want to type that in there is a link in the description and as always if you like this tutorial and if it helped you please post a video response and please subscribe um, I'll do tutorials a lot, some other stuff, you get some bonuses, and, uh, you know, let's get together on a personal level. Uh, <laughs> Alright guys, don't want to make this over 10 minutes, so I love you all, and I hope you all have a fantastic day.